So recently I had to grep for files that were containing a certain phrase, but I only really cared about the file names. So um, normally you'd do something like grep contains and then search all the files and then you'd get back the lines of text and their file names, right? So um, if I care about what text it's getting, the thing that I'm searching for, then this is good. A lot of times I only really care about the file names and then maybe I can do something with those file names. So in order to grep for a certain phrase and just get back the file names, we're just going to pass lowercase l as a command line argument. Once we pass that, then it'll give us just the file names. So that's how to get the file names of files that contain a certain phrase um, where this is the actual phrase that it contains. Let's say I searched for um, sum, right? So now it's going to search for sum across these files. So contains is the phrase that I'm searching for. And then you want to do this lowercase l. What's really confusing about grep is that if you pass an uppercase l, it's going to search for files that do not contain that phrase. So I don't know who came up with this idea, but lowercase l and uppercase l will do complete opposites. So you don't want to do that um, unless you're searching for files that, that do not contain your phrase. But if you want to search for just file names that contain your phrase, you can pass the argument anywhere. Drop that lowercase l in. And then that'll give you just the file names. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see anything else about grep or the command line. And hopefully we'll learn something new tomorrow.